I'm at the Liverpool Empire for something that I am very, very excited about. And I'm joined by Sam Bailey and Tom Senior, who play Mrs. Potts and Gaston in Beauty and the Beast. What can the audience expect if they're coming to see the show? So people can expect to kind of a modern, real twist, but with the magic and the, the comedy that the, the film offers. Obviously, in the film, there are some big, big, iconic Disney songs. Are they all in the stage production as well? Yes, we have pretty much all of the songs and from more. and more absolutely more and as soon as be our guest starts it's huge and people cheer and they're with us and we get a stand innovation halfway through the show so now i'm joined by matt west who is the director of beauty and the beast hi matt um you were very kind and you let us on the stage and we looked at all the costumes for the show and they're pretty special aren't they we're so proud of it this version of beauty uh because we've put a little modern a tweak to it. Why should people come and see the show? It is the old saying, don't judge a book by its cover. It's about looking beyond the exterior of, of something, someone, and finding who they truly are inside. And that's all about love. And I think the world right now could use as much of that as we can get. Tom Schumacher, hello. You have an extremely impressive job title, so I'm going to let you do it. Well, I am Tom Schumacher. I am president and producer of Disney Theatrical. Now, the show's been running for quite a long time, hasn't it? But it's had a bit of an update. We opened the show originally in 1994. But think about this. Since 1994, everything has changed in the world. And certainly the role of Belle. What kind of a princess was she intended to be? We always knew that she was thoughtful, um, deep-hearted, um, an intellectual, that she read books. But now we've said, well, if she's reading all these books, what are the odds that she might be wearing glasses? Well, if you think about that, why is she always wearing an apron in the movie? Is she... I, I mean, I own a lot of aprons, but I don't wear them out in the world. I wear them when I cook, you know? It's a historic piece, and it is set in time, but these characters always have to speak to us today. And in the theatre, we can reinvent, so why not? Do you know what? We're really excited that Beauty and the Beast is here at Liverpool. Tom Schumacher, thank you so much. Thanks for coming.